So we're continuing our wander around uh, the showground and uh, we've stumbled across something which I think is producer Andy's dream <laughs> because uh, yes. it uh, looks like a load of uh, lawn mowers. Yeah, well, these these are electric lawn mowers and there's like little <laughs> robot, look, there's a little cute little robot one with a Lincolnshire flag on it there. It's tiny, tiny little thing. But yes, I think you know me well really that this is my kind of geeky sort of stand that I've taken an interest in. So we're going to have to go in and What's find this, out this a bit more. Oh no, it's not an electric wheelbarrow. It's like a wheelbarrow with loads of buckets in it and whatever. Anything on, electric, Andy gets very excited. Uh, let's walk in and, and meet, uh, meet the man in charge. Hello, what's your name? Hi, I'm Pete Dixon. I mean, this is producer Andy's dream because he loves gadgets and gizmos. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, he's got look, he's ka-ching, cash shines, cash shines in, in his eyes. Just explain what you've got here. So today we've uh, bought uh, Ego Power to Power uh, Garden Machinery. Uh, if we look at the front here, we've got uh, the brand is called Ego. It's American. In general, petrol machinery is is going out, mm. and battery power product is coming in. And we've got two offerings here today. One is our Ego range. The Ego range uses very powerful batteries. Oh, wow. Yeah. These are 56 volt batteries. Yeah. They can last anywhere from half an hour to an hour and a half, depending on what we're doing with it. Here we've got a blower. And if we just feel... That, that cooled me down. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is as powerful as any petrol product you could put on the market. And one of these would probably run between half an hour and an hour, depending yeah. on the battery. Yeah. So it's completely practical. The battery itself charges up in 50 minutes. Yeah. And with a fast charger, 30 minutes. Fantastic product. As a company, we now sell more battery-powered product in hand tool, strimmers, chainsaw, hedge cutter, than we do petrol. Wow. It's, it's taken the market. Yeah. And you've got the, the lawn mower, is it? And this is obviously electric as well. I mean, it looks like a lawn mower, doesn't it? Look, it yeah, it looks like one. It's a conventional lawn mower, yeah. we do it in three sizes 16 inch for the smaller garden, 47 centimeters, 18 inch for a medium sized garden. And then for that large estate, we've got the 52 centimeter, 21 inch. Yeah. And these are all the power of this product is the same as a petrol product. Yeah. Without the turn fuel. Turn this one on then. Let's, yeah. have a, let's turn this on and see how this runs. Yeah, again, sounds powerful. Sounds powerful to me, Andy. <laughs> okay. We've also bought with us today um, Ambrosio, which is a Robotic, autonomous robotic. Oh, is this the one mower. with the Lincolnshire flag on? Yeah. Is it? And this oh, is a little mine. one. That's mine. Oh, that's from home. Oh. That is little Alberto. Alberto. Why is it called Alberto? Because it's Italian. Why is it Italian when it's got Lincolnshire flag? Because it's from mine from home, and I like, <laughs> and I like all things Lincolnshire. I like all things Lincolnshire. So Ambrosio is an Italian robot. It's made in Tuscany. It's uh, exported around the world, 68 different countries. This product's exported to, and we're the distributor for Ambrosio in the UK, yeah. do it, feeding a dealer network. This has now become, the, the robotic lawnmowers have become mainstream. So now when someone's considering to buy garden machinery to cut the grass, they would consider a petrol, a battery, but they'd also very much consider a robot. Yeah. These robots will do up to five, two, two hectares, two hectares of grass. Yeah. Very practical, fantastic finish, good looking product. We say two hectares of grass. What in, in uh, acres? Well, that's five acres. Five acres. Yeah. In football pitches. Uh, f in football pitches, you would be looking at um, four football pitches. On that for that little robot. Not for that little one. For oh, the biggest for one. the big one. These are for practical for the size of a garden, yeah. around about a thousand square meters. Yeah. For a thousand square meters, you probably use maybe an eighteen-inch or twenty-one-inch lawnmower, yeah. and this will replace it. Have you had lots of interest at the show? Yeah, very much so, yeah. I mean, I've been coming personally to the show a long, long time. I've bought robotics here for the last 20 years. And now people come on the stand and they, they've heard about robot robots for cutting the grass. They understand it. It's just a choice of whose brand they go for, yeah. who's going to give them a good service. Yeah. That's the choice they make today. Has there been a lot of people in this year? Because we had the pandemic, didn't we? And at the show, not on. Um, is it nice to be back? Yeah, we're super pleased to be back. I mean, we, we had the two years off. Um, we're a Lincolnshire-based country, although we supply 
uh, countrywide. Yeah. We're Lincolnshire based, and uh, I think all the companies here. A little bit of a statement for myself is that you know if we're trading in Lincolnshire, we should support this show because if this show wasn't here, we'd all miss it. Yeah. You know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit of resource, a little bit of trouble in your week. Yeah. Um, but it's one week in the year. Yeah. You know, I, I say to all those people that haven't come here, you know, come. It's a yeah. great two days. Yeah. Meet your customers. It's better than sat in the office. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly is. Producer Randy, uh, big, big uh, geek. Uh, he won't mind <laughs> I me want saying. One of these. He, he wants a, an Alberto. It's so cute. It's like, it's almost like, uh, to describe it, it's like about the size of a, a cat lying down. And it's got a little hutch that it lives in, a little wooden <laughs> hutch that it goes in when it's finished. So it's, it's very cute. I'll tell you what I want to know, though, is, uh, I mean, well, you'd expect these to be a bit more expensive than than perhaps your traditional petrol mower, it's a new product and whatever, but ha what is the, the price differential with these these days? A start point for something that does 700 square metres with a lot of grass. You, you, you'd buy a, you know, a 16 or even an 18 inch to do that amount. Look at about a thousand pounds. So in the smaller robots, yes, you could consider that, that is more expensive than maybe a, a petrol or electric product. When you move to the bigger products, the products that replace ride-ons, then these are, from an economical point of view, they're often cheaper than buying a garden tractor. And you haven't got to cut the grass. Mm. It's cutting for you. Have you been tempted, they, Andy? Well, they're just fun to watch, aren't they? As well. I mean, you could just watch them all day going along, yeah. up and down, doing their thing. What would your wife Jo say if you came home with one? Uh, I, I'm not sure about that, actually. <laughs> She's, <laughs> I'd Be probably positive. get told off, I think. <laughs> well, look, enjoy your day. Thank you so much for, for demonstrating what you've got here, and, uh, and good luck today. Well, thanks very much for coming to see us. Oh, lovely to speak to the team there. That was producer Andrew and I having a little wander away from the main ring to 